Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to physically install the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 XC. This bad boy right over here. Beautiful three slot card, huge monster. So let's get to it real quick. So first off, we're going to need to remove the card that's in there already. Now, to do that, it's pretty simple. We'll just unscrew the screws holding the card in place. Okay, so now back here, there's a little notch right here that you're gonna have to push in to get the card out. So first off, I'm gonna remove off, remove the PCIe power connections. Okay, so you got you have to hold on on this little clip right over here and just pull the card out all right so now that we've done with that so now we just hold on to this little clip back here we push it down and then we can just easily pull the card out now I know that was a little difficult to see so let me show you in a different angle so to give you guys another view of what that would look like for example, right here is that little notch. But when your card's inserted, you'll notice that little notch is sticking up. So in order for you to pull that card out properly, you're not just going to tug on the card. And well, if you did, you'd rip out the entire PCIe lane. So what you're going to do is, all you do with one finger is push this down. I'll show you right this way, maybe a little bit easier. Just push it down. You'll notice that made the card rise a little bit. I'll push it down so you can see. See how it locked in place? Now, just push it down. The card popped up. And then you can just pull the card out. Gently pull it out. And you'll notice this piece right here, that's the piece that locks right in here. So when you push this down, that pushes the card up. Pretty simple, right? All right, so now, now that we have the card out, we'll just put that aside for now. Now, since that was a three slot card, right now we only have two slots exposed. So we're gonna have to unscrew this guy here. Okay, so now that that's there, remember to take this little protector off and whatever you do don't touch these pins so you can see I'm not touching it <laughs> don't touch those gold pins the acid from your fingers will not kill it immediately but over time that is going to corrode and then not only corrode but then make it lose contact so now we're gonna go ahead and line it up with this PCIe slot and then of course, make sure that this is set to the open, not closed position. And then we're gonna go ahead, line it up in the back. We could see back here, now that's lined up. And maybe it's not lined up. Okay, we can see it's lined up there. And now we just push the card in. And that's it. It locks in place. Again, with this little locking mechanism I showed you earlier. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just screw the card in real quick. So I'm just holding it up right over here just to make sure that the slots align back here to make it easy to screw in. I'm putting it in the middle of the three holes. That way, you can see here, that way it's balanced out and I can make sure that this screw hole and this screw hole are lined up properly. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and put the PCIe connections back in place. So the previous one required an eight and an eight, and this one only requires a six and an eight. So 
since this is a six plus two, I just get rid of those two, plug that one in, and I'm gonna put this one right over here just to hide it a little tiny bit. Okay, now I'll make it look pretty later on. Right now it's just to show you guys how to do it. All right, so now that we've installed the video card, let's go ahead and show you guys how to actually install the drivers. All right guys, so now we're back in Windows after installing the video card. Now, if you came from an AMD card or if, even if you came from a different Nvidia card, or any other card for that matter, you're going to boot into Windows and if you're connected to the internet, Windows is more than likely automatically going to download a driver that'll work for your card. Um, but for the first few seconds, if anything, the OS is gonna look really huge. It'll probably be 800 by 600. The resolution will be huge, or maybe 1024 by 768. So what we're going to want to do at this point is we're going to want to strip those drivers and then install the latest drivers. So we're gonna go ahead and open up a browser. I'm using Chrome, you can use whichever you prefer. And then we're going to go to wagnerdsoft.com. And this is how I get rid of the drivers that Windows installs. And then we click on driver display driver uninstaller DDU right down here. And then we'll go, we'll click on, scroll down a little bit. And then we'll click on, click here for download support. And we'll scroll down a little bit and then we'll click official download here. And then we'll start downloading the software right down here. Next, we're going to want to go to nvidia.com and then we'll click hover over drivers and then click GeForce drivers. Okay, and then you can do the automatic driver updates. I don't like doing that myself, but we'll come over here to manual driver search. We're under GeForce now. We're on the GeForce 10 series. So we'll click here and we'll go to scroll up to the GeForce RTX 20 series. We'll select that and then we'll select GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. We'll click on that. Since I'm not using a TI, I'm using a standard RTX 280. I'll click on that. And then you'll select the version of Windows you're using. For me, I'm using Windows 10, 64-bit. And then we'll click Start Search. That's going to go ahead and find the latest version down here. Version 416.34, so we'll click there. And then we'll click Download here. That'll take a few moments, depending on your internet connection. Okay, and when that's done, we're gonna click on the little down hour here, and then click Show in Folder. Okay, and then we'll see DDU and 416.34, the driver. So then I'll double click on DDU, and then I'll enter C colon backslash DDU or whatever directory you prefer to install it onto and then we'll click install or extract okay now that we've extracted that we're gonna go ahead right click on the start button down here hover over shut down or sign out now we're going to click and hold the left shift key on the keyboard and click restart Now doing that is going to go ahead and boot Windows into safe mode. And now that we're here, then we'll go to troubleshoot. Then we'll go to advanced options. And then we'll select see more recovery options. Startup settings. And then that's going to take us to restart to change Windows options such as all these options here. The fourth option is enable safe mode. So now we'll click restart. On this screen, we'll go ahead and click number four. All right, so now we're inside Windows in safe mode. So now we'll click on file explorer down here. And then we'll go to this PC, we'll go to the C drive, 
go into the DDU directory, DDU version 18.0.0.2 or whatever version you have. And now we'll click on Display Driver Uninstaller. All right, so it brings up this interface. On the right hand side, you'll see a little drop down for select device type, click on that. Then we'll select GPU. Then you'll notice it'll bring up NVIDIA GeForce GTX. If you have an AMD card, you'll just click here and select AMD or select Intel that we have NVIDIA. So then we'll click up here, clean and restart, highly recommended. And that'll start stripping all of the drivers from Windows, even if there are built-in drivers, it'll go ahead and remove those drivers. And once it's done, it's going to automatically restart the computer. All right, so now we'll be in Windows shortly. Now, what that also does, it stops it puts a flag in the registry to stop Windows from automatically download, downloading the latest drivers. So now when we boot back into Windows, we don't have to worry about Windows updating the driver automatically for us. So it's going to, I have Chrome set up to open up the last page, so I'll just close this out. And then I'll click on the file manager down here. Then I'll go to downloads, okay. And then I'll double click on 416.34, the latest NVIDIA driver. And then I'll, you can change this directory if you'd like, but just click OK. Okay, so I have two monitors, so it moved everything to the other monitor, so I'll just bring it back over here for you. Now the DDU uninstaller, you can choose to do that before you install the new video card or after. More than likely, it's better to do it before you install the newer video card when you still have the older video card in place because it'll just make your, your video look a little bit odd. It'll still work, but it'll just look very odd. So that's it, we're done. Again, this is Iggy showing you guys how to install the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 XC Ultra card, and then also how to install the drivers for it. Iggy out, see you guys. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.